There's so many amazing women. Here in America, I very much admire uh, Meryl Streep. Uh, I've worked with her quite a lot on our Women in the World Summit. And her attention to detail, her sense of perfectionism, the seriousness with which she takes even the smallest task which she's involved in is so impressive. You know, many movie stars, if you're involved in something like an event, a performance that's going to be part of a summit, which is what she and I have worked on, will simply say, well, give me my script, I'll show up and I'll be there at nine or whatever. Actually, in her case, she wants to know exactly what it is that she's being asked to do. She frequently comes in to brainstorm how to do it better or how to do something different from what we've talked about. She brings her own thinking to it. She treats it as if it is a major Oscar role. And that's what she brings to everything. Everything she does is careful, is perfectionist, and is done with the same level of excellence, which is really, really impressive. Another great woman who I admire is Dr. Hawa, Dr. Hawa Abdi of Somalia. She's an extraordinary humanitarian figure in Africa. She, she was a doctor, uh, a gynecologist, who was treating people. And of course, during the Civil War, um, which is now 20 years raging, she found that a tremendous amount of people needed help and needed a treatment who couldn't afford it or couldn't find it. And so gradually she began to take people and, and see them in, in, a, in a surgery on her farmland. And over the years, she now has 90,000 refugees living on her farmland, farmland. And she's created this kind of matriarchy there where uh, no violence is allowed, no abuse. Her, her farm is a refuge from any of the violence that you see in that civil war. And she has faced down Al-Qaeda. She has been kidnapped in her time. She continually fights to get treatment for the people who come to her with no money at all. She's really a great humanitarian. She's kind of in the, in the uh, Mother Teresa, uh, uh, you know, sort of pantheon as far as I'm concerned. And I'm sure at some point she'll get the Nobel Prize. Women who do a disservice to other women. Well, I think Miley Cyrus and all of her ilk right now are doing a lousy service to women because they're really just advertising lack of dignity, lack of um, self-possession, a kind of gaudy and vulgar way uh, of looking at themselves, which frankly just encourages everyone else to look at them that way too. And it seems to me that women have, have come so far on the one hand, but also at the same time are also allowing themselves to be dialed back by the wrong kind of, uh, of pop culture role models right now. One of the things at our Women of the World Summit we do is to showcase these incredible women who are so cool in their own right, who are doing the most amazing things for other women, who are actually fighting for their rights in education and in, in, in um, health and in you know, uh, marriage to someone you want. And then you, know, you see so much in America right now of these role models who are just so dismal that young women really uh, are, are just the wrong women to emulate. And, I'm finding I have a 22-year-old daughter that she is as willing and, and loves meeting women who are doing really genuinely cool things, which is actually being independent, which is being self-dignified, which is being you know glamorous, but at the same time as being um, uh, lacking in, in, in kind of a slutty way of looking at the world that is just so much more appealing. And I think it's a real shame that we don't see more of it. Well, there's a man I enormously admire actually in Congo. He's called Dr. Dennis McQuaggy. He is absolutely incredible. This is a guy who has run a hospital called the Pansy Hospital in Congo, where he treats women uh, who have been raped in the Congo, uh, performing multiple operations over the years to save the lives of women who've been brutally abused. Uh, and he does it simply out of, out of humanitarian kindness, out of generosity, and out of a sense that this is an outrage. He is an extraordinary figure, and I admire him enormously. I think a man who personified the worst qualities to me was Anthony Weiner um, in the uh, race for mayor who just passed in New York. I mean, exhibitionistly tweeting, uh, you know, his, his, uh, his sex organs online uh, during the race for mayor, uh, humiliating his amazing wife, Huma Ab Aberdeen, who is just a woman of such, you know, style and, and so beautiful and so supportive. It was just narcissism of the worst kind. And, and you just had to think, you know, the self-involvement of that kind of behavior was just mind-blowing. And the fact that he continued and persisted to say that he could still be mayor of New York, I thought, showed such an absolute absence of self-control that I just, 
it just made you want to just weep. 